How to boost your immune system and get ready for COVID-19, the coronavirus storm that is about to hit the UK. Here's my vitamin stack, vitamin supplement stack to help prepare for COVID-19 by boosting my immune system. First of all, vitamin D. Well, D3 to be more precise. Uh, make sure you get it with calcium, otherwise it's not going to get absorbed. This one's a fairly low dose. Just 125 IU, they can go up to 4,000. So you're probably better off getting a slightly more powerful one. I'm using this because it comes with calcium. And also I get vitamin D from food and other supplements. Next we have omega-3 fatty acids, you can't get enough of them but I don't like taking omega-3, get that fishy taste even though you've swallowed them but they will boost your immune system towards normal, remember it's all about boosting your immune system towards normal so you don't want to overdose on any of them. Next we have a good multivitamin, this is what fills up the stack. But something of everything, vitamin C, D, E, D has got 10, 100, was it 100 or 400? 400 IUs, it's more than this. Yeah, it's got more than this. So this is a good multivitamin. It's got vitamin C in there as well. 60 milligrams, it's got zinc. It's got a bit of everything. So get a good multivitamin tablet. First stop will be to get one good multivitamin. That's got everything in it in case you're not gonna supplement with other stuff. Next on the staff is DHEA, which is mainly for men. Basically boosts your testosterone levels towards normal. But all of this is towards boosting your immune system towards normal, you're not going to enhance it beyond normal, just going to make sure you're not deficient in anything, especially in winter, you're going to be deficient in vitamin D because not enough sun, especially if you've got darker skin, you're not going to make enough vitamin D through your sun, so you need supplements. And the fifth item on my list is nicotinamide, vitamin B3, the anti-aging supplement supposedly. I'm not 100% sure if this works, but your B3 does decrease with age, so if you're older, you might want to supplement. Don't go overboard, one per day. Some people take five grams of this stuff, you know. That's going overboard. So just take one. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not going to affect you much. But it's all to do with this overall stack. The next is metamorphin. No, I'm not diabetic, well, not that I know of. I'm probably getting towards pre-diabetic being 52 and of Asian descent. So Asian, Southeast Asian, South East, West Asian, West Himalayas. So basically around the Himalayas region. So it's what, not exactly Southeast. Anyway, morphine, control your blood sugar levels. This is important because the virus will feed on high blood sugar. This is why people with diabetes are gonna get it worse because they got impaired immune systems and they got a lot of blood sugar in their blood to feed the cells, infected cells. So you're gonna get a worse illness if you got diabetes and it's not managed. And if you haven't got diabetes, well, or if you're possibly pre-diabetic, then metamorphin will help because it will regulate your blood sugar, lower it, give less fuel to your cells. It also means you have less energy, obviously, because you can have less fuel for your cells, which means you should get a less worse illness. So, and last of le and last but not least is vitamin C. Now you're already getting some vitamin C in this multivitamin so I'm not going to supplement with something extra like when you get those one gram doses, I think that's overkill. Yeah, take vitamin C one gram if you're ill. 
But apart from that, natural fruit and veg is best. And she must take oranges to boost your vitamin, natural vitamin levels of vitamin C. A couple of oranges a day should be enough. Anyway, that's my anti-coronavirus stack aimed towards boosting my immune system towards normal. Basically, I take most of these anyway, apart from I don't usually take this and I don't usually take this because I don't like fat. Yes, I normally take all of these regular. Well, I usually skip a day of this because you don't need to take this every day. I try and take a bit multivitamin every day and one of these every day and one of them every day to regulate blood sugar and at least a couple of oranges a day, sometimes more. But uh, with the coronavirus storm imminent, uh, I've got to take these as well. Oh, look at the size of this tablet. I hate the size of these tablets. This one, oh, that's massive. Oh, it's dreading trying to swallow them. The, uh, this one, same, it's a bit too big. This is alright. Then, obviously, oranges are enjoyable. So, do prepare yourself for the coronavirus, which is going to come. Like the number of cases in the UK is only 50. It's going to go parabolic, as I've covered in countless videos since early February. The rate of infection is going to go parabolic over the next few days and weeks. By the end of March, probably UK will have 5,000 cases. And God knows how many there will be by the end of April and then May. This, this pandemic is going to run for a good six months. So we're only at the very beginnings. Like I'm recording this on the 3rd of March. And we are only at the very beginnings in most Western nations. Look to South Korea. For what to expect so you should you should already have started preparing yourselves by boosting your immune system towards normal take vitamins d with calcium omega fish oil if you can stomach it a good multivitamin that has everything in it already although you'll probably piss out most of it because that's the problem with vitamins your body they're not natural so your body, you know, is hit and miss whether they'll utilize most of it. And nicotinamide for a bit extra, that's vitamin B3. And metamorphin, because the virus is gonna feed on high blood sugar. People with high blood sugar or above normal are gonna get it the worst. And of course, vitamin C, natural. Try and eat natural fruit. Like get your vitamins as much as possible from uh, apples, bananas, oranges, blueberries, strawberries. As much from natural food as possible because you'll absorb it better. Whereas from these it's hit and miss how much you'll absorb. That's why it's a widespread spectrum. You, you don't know how much of this vitamin is going to be absorbed. I'm not, I probably doubt most even if you're deficient, because it's not in the natural form. But, we're preparing for coronavirus, and it's coming, and there's going to be thousands of cases by the end of March, probably over 5,000. That's in the UK, more in the US, maybe over 10,000, and there's only about 50 at the moment. 50 in the UK, and I think about 60 or 70 in the US. That's not much compared to what's to come. So do boost your immune systems now. Take this calm before the coronavirus storm to boost your immune system towards normal so that you can better withstand getting infected have a mild illness as possible. Yeah. 59p, that's cheap. And two. Get more. How many? How many 59? This will stop the virus. I Vitamin C. I told you the lot. Big ones there. Let's get the big one up there. Come on, Liza. <coughs> what else? Tangerines, man. Is that a lot yeah. One. Yeah, yeah, I'm not only 59p. 
No, he's cheap though. I can touch Less than 20. half price. I can touch 20. What else should we get? Stop the virus. Lemons. Oh look, that one's got, that one's infected with something. Get, what's that this one? This one get more oranges. Hmm. Even more oranges. Go on then. Put it in. That's it. Put it in. Put it in the trolley then. Plenty of oranges. I don't think we're going to be able to eat all that. Potassium in bananas. One left. Good to stop to get a virus. Yeah, Look nuts. Look. Lots of nutrition in nuts, fatty acids. Whee. Two for one fifty. That's cheap. Um, there's not much in them. What's in it? How many? Fifty-five grams. That's nothing. Put them back. Fifty-five grams. That's one fifty for hundred and ten grams. It's not cheap. Even though they're half price, they're not cheap, but they'll at least they'll help stop getting the coronavirus. Which nuts do you want? Liza? Which nuts do you want? To stop getting the virus. Uh, oh, mixed nuts. These might be cheap, there's a lot of volume in them. Sweets? Yeah. I don't think they'll help you. Pick and mix, anti coronavirus pick and mix. Oh, leave them, get some sweets from here. It's cheaper. <laughs>